Well, Southern Californians love to be in the water, but according to the Red Cross, more than half of the adults in America can't swim well. And many can't swim at all. That was the case with our own Lena Wend, and she's now facing her fears with some help from the Water Whisperer. It was a little known fact and one that's always met with surprise when people find out I can't swim. Did you have any experience in your past that might have been traumatic? Well, uh, when I was in five, water? I was in a, an apartment pool full of people and I was on a raft, floated in the deep end and then flipped over, went under, and no one saw me. To this day, I can still remember what it looked like. I swallowed a lot of water and it was a really scary experience. I mean, I can still, just talking about it now, I can still, you know, feel how helpless How old I were you when that happened? Five. You were five. Yeah. Over the years, a lot of people tried to teach me but failed. My dad, friends, boyfriends, even the one who was in the Coast Guard. <laughs> but with two kids who love to swim and a pool in our backyard, it was time to learn for their sake. So I sought out the water whisperer, Emily Cohen. Swimming shouldn't just be about, you know, panicking and saving people in emergencies. There's also a joy to it. A relaxing part of it, a component that feels very therapeutic. One, two, three. The first step seems simple enough. Emily pours water over my head. I actually hated it and thought, this is a mistake. Okay. I'm going to turn off my nose. Step two, learning the different ways to hold my breath and blow bubbles underwater. You're going to take a deep breath. <gasps> You're not going to release it. You're only going to blow bubbles out of your nose. She demonstrates that it's my turn. Okay. One, two, three, deep breath. <gasps> Close your mouth. Good. Now blow. Blow. Keep blowing. Keep blowing. Keep blowing. Keep blowing. I'm going to lower you a little bit. Good. Keep blowing. Excellent. It was uncomfortable in the beginning, so I did it several times. Okay, one, two, three, deep breath. <gasps> okay, look down and blow. I love it. The whole head's under the water. Blow and kick. Good. Blow and kick. Very blow and kick. Job. Perfect. Okay, now when was the last time you ever had your entire face submerged? Never. <laughs> Never? At this point, I'm thinking, okay, baby steps. Maybe a week of this and I might be able to swim. Next step, learning to paddle by making spoons with my hands. And you're going to try to take your arms up and out of the water while you reach, reach, reach. They use a noodle under me to help me stay afloat. Okay, one, two, three, deep breath. Okay, look down. Paddle, paddle and kick. Paddle and kick. Paddle and kick. Paddle and kick. <laughs> After a second time with the noodle, I'm confident enough to try it without. One, two, three, deep breath. <gasps> Look all the way down. Get your head Look down. Look down. Look down. Look down. Good. 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 You're swimming. The She's whole swimming. In less than 20 minutes in the water, I was swimming. The decades of embarrassment washed away with each stroke and kick. <gasps> In fact, it went so well, Emily had me go to the bottom of the pool to pick up objects. This is the beginning step, yeah. leading up to possibly being able to go down and rescue a person or an animal. And like all good things learned later in life, I asked myself, why didn't I do this sooner? Although Lena learned in one lesson, the Water Whisperer recommends an intensive 10 days and two weeks to become proficient. And we have more information on the Water Whisperer Swim School on CBSLA.com, under Scene on TV, and bravo to our Lena Wynn. <laughs>